Hi, this is Micah 13, back at it again with this amazing studio setup. I decided that I want to show you guys some songs I'm working on and more technically speaking, I'm gonna show you some whips. And if you guys don't know what that means, is an abbreviation for work in progress or works in progress. The songs I'm gonna show you are, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. They're not done yet, but I just really want to show you guys some of the stuff that I've been working on, really. I think I'm gonna like show three to five songs for you guys. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. I want to show you this song called Cybertruck. It's kind of a meme-ish kind of song. If you guys have been living under a rock, Elon Musk, the CEO, the creator, the owner of Tesla, he released the model of the Cybertruck and I'll leave some pictures on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. Let me just make a disclaimer. I'm not being endorsed by Elon, okay? He doesn't even know me at all, nor he should, because look at me, I look poor and I am poor. Secondly, the vocals on this is pretty rough. I didn't add any like compression or vocal processing. I only, I literally just added autotune. So please bear with me. <laughs> so how I started off this song, I actually found this sample that I found on Splice. I just play that sample for you guys. <laughs> I found this melody from Igloo Ghost Sample Pack and it sounds like this. So all together it sounds like this. Wow, so pretty. This is how it turned out. I feel I already feel embarrassed talking about it, but anyways, here we go. Cyber fucking in my cyber truck. All these bitches they can get enough. Taking pictures like the starstruck. All these bitches they can get enough. Cyber fucking in my cyber truck. All these bitches they can get enough. Taking pictures like the starstruck. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, let's continue before I second guess myself. <laughs> Ooh, I want to show you guys this remix that I've been working on. So recently a producer slash singer songwriter who goes by the name of Summit, he recently released an EP titled This Is Real and I thought the song was pretty good. I wanted to put my own take on it. So I'll play a couple measures before and after their drop. So I'll just play a little bit. Okay, just a little teeny tiny bit. It, all right, am I gonna get copyrighted for this? This is real and that's okay. Yeah, this is real and that's okay. 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 Yeah, this is real and that's okay. This is real and that's okay. This is real and that's okay. That's it. That's all you're getting. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I have to send it to him for permission. And, you know, I'll see if I'll get his approval. Hope I don't get in trouble. Hope I don't get a copy strike. <laughs> <coughs> this next song that I want to show you guys is called Devilish. It's not the official title. I got really inspired by Ravenna, Ravina Golden, and Dorian Electra, and Umru because of their production stuff. And so, you know, I kind of took that to inspiration and Umru, Dorian Electra, Ravina Golden, Ravenna Golden, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm so sorry. Uh, please don't murder me, please don't kill me. I was heavily inspired by all y'all's work. So, uh, yeah, please don't hurt me, please don't sue me. Thank you, this is a PSA from Yours truly. Hope you enjoy it. All right, here we go. Cause I 
I was basically singing gibberish the entire time because I was just only focusing on the melody of the vocals, not really the lyrics in particular. You know what I'm saying? Also, like, I really love this, like, Umru type bass that I made. I've been recently using Serum which is a synth plugin and honestly I just love this thing so much like listen listen to this bass again <laughs> Anyways, moving on, I want to show you guys the project where I used Serum for the first time. The day that I got Serum, I was like, you know what? Every single one of my producer friends, or almost every single one of my producer friends, they've been talking about this plugin so much, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just see this shit for myself. Let me just see how amazing this plugin is, as many of my friends say. I haven't heard this in a long time, so we shall see how I feel about it, and we shall see what this track sounds like. All right, here we go. To be honest, I kind of slapped. Oh my god. Like, this is like my honest reaction. Like, I'm shook at myself that I made that. Like, I really am that bitch, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. I definitely need to finish that. When it comes to, like, songwriting, I guess, like, I would never sing or hum the melodies and record them onto my project file. But lately, I've been doing that. And honestly, it's been a little bit helpful. I would say if you don't want to go through the situation where you have a melody in your head and you think it's really good and then you would think you would remember it for the next like five hours and when the fifth hour hits, when the final hour hits, you somehow forgot about the melody that you just thought of in your head and you just slowly but surely beat yourself up because you had this amazing idea in your head and all of a sudden it's gone now and you're just like, wow. <sighs> This is so good for me. So if you have an iPhone or if you have any smartphone, you should have a voice memo app where you could just record whatever it is that you're thinking of in your head. And it could just be more about, you know, coming up with melodies in your head. It could literally be recording your dream that you had last night, trying to record conversation from class. Like literally, if you have really bad short-term memory, voice memos will be your bay for life. I don't even know if anyone says that anymore, but it definitely comes in handy. Would highly recommend. This last song that I want to show you guys, I titled it Calabasas is Burning. And I got this idea from one of Jeffree Star's Instagram stories where he was talking about the Calabasas fires of the California fires and he was talking about how he had to evacuate from his old home. It kind of brings up the question of the idea of materialism versus natural disasters are still happening. The fact that the social climate is really in turmoil as well as topics like global warming and political climate and whatever and it kind of goes hand in hand on like what is really important you know it really just kind of questions everyone's morals whether or not like hopefully that makes sense i really have no idea how else to explain it but um i only got some of the vocals down by that i mean just the chorus it's a really short kind of song but here we go <laughs>
the production, I was actually inspired by Allie X from her song Fresh Laundry. I loved the kind of mood it had, the beat structure, I guess the voicings and the sound design. I was just pretty inspired with that and so I kind of want to incorporate that with something like this. Anyways, those are the songs I'm going to show you today. If you guys like this, then please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions, what songs you're most interested in. But yeah, again, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you guys like what I'm posting so far. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I post a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Audius, etc. All my social links will be down in the description below. I recently added new items on my Depop shop, so it really means a lot if you guys click my Depop link down below so that you guys can support my shop and support me financially because I don't want to be a broke hoe no more. So it really means a lot if you guys support my Depop. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, I think that's it. I promise you guys more music content will be coming out soon and hopefully I'll release a track hopefully later in January or February or something because right now I'm still in dealing with work, you know, trying to make some money. Again, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much and until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!